came in and uh, gave the infringement away. And clears the ball into attack for Assi on his own. Barassi. This is Barassi's 15th pick and he's taken six. 24 and a half minutes into the last quarter. Will you forget the tie these sides played in the final series a couple of years ago? Barassi goes for a run with the ball. A hand pass here from the goal square. It bounces the boundary line kicked off the ground again by Barassi. He's on the carpet once again. One sock down, one sock up. Trying to... Kicks it up towards the forward pocket. Andrews here, a brawl, no free kick. Well, it's how the umpire was seen and he was flattened while the ball was 20 yards away. But the free kick or the mark will go to Barassi. A lucky break for Carlton as Barassi will kick it out to the centre wing. Performances like that. Here's his kick into the centre wing. Over behind is Greenwood for Carlton. He might hold Geelong up. No, a faulty hand pass gets to Teasdale. He got to get a boy and get his kick to it. Grabbed by Alves. Then rushes Barassi. There's Dixon there. Dixon's got Up they go. Nobody can grab the ball. Now it comes down. Barassi gets a big kick. Now right up towards the half-forward flank. It's where Barassi's got a chance for Carlton. He grabs the ball. Races past the line. That's right. Here's the kick going. Goalwood. A oh, good kick up. A little bit picked up here by Barassi. Goalie steps one. That looks a good one. The first one to Carlton. First turn again from the boot of Ronald Dale Barassi. Who is now running back to the centre. A man who wants to win this game desperately. This is Carlton's biggest test season so far. They're on top of the premiership ladder and now we see uh, Ron Barassi kicking the first goal of the game and uh, in front trying to regain his feet and time and his composure. The ball coming out here. Oh, there's a hard bump traded by uh, Kennedy towards Barassi. It seems to spur Barassi on. Uh, Barassi ends up in the gutter. This is a free kick to Barassi. St Kilda draws the score, six points closer. Kicking towards centre-half forward, Baldock will be in this. Baldock versus Silvani, behind to Barassi. Barassi playing as he did in the first quarter, a kick behind the play in defence. St Kilda so far this year are fourth on the list. Barassi takes it away from the pack. Barassi kicking the ball into the full forward area. Gill! Through! I think, can you hear the bell sounding there? They can't get the siren going, and if so, that goal was kicked after the, si after the bell was sounded. And Baldock's rushing across the centre of the ground. The siren's gone, all right. There's umpire Crouch, now he picked the ball up. Now we see Crane come in, handballs it across to Barassi. Barassi drives it back towards the hub. Things are very busy around Baldock, as the mark is taken by Barassi in defence again. He's been particularly effective in defence in the first and third quarters. The first quarter was dry, the second was misty rain throughout. The third has been dry so far. We've only had eight minutes, but uh, heavy rain threatening now. Loft's back, and Loft is a bit upset about the whole thing. A free kick in front of the sticks. Barassi again remonstrating with umpire Crouch. Wes Loft is telling him to quieten down. Barassi is hard to quieten down. And Ditterich is getting a free kick. Tony, it's a free kick against... Two players, Silvani was one for Downing ball. Towards Dowling, Dowling turn, kicks it to a mark by Barassi on the centre wing. Barassi taking his time, getting up off the ground, wasting valuable time. We've played, this is Barassi's 18th kick, and he's taken five marks, and we're about to start the time on period in the last quarter. Barassi's on the centre wing position, and we've got about five minutes to go on this. It'll fall into the goal square. The big fellas try and knock it forward. Barassi waiting down, cool and calm in the crisis. Barassi... Who you haven't seen much of today, but Marshall's kick is very misdirected, and Barassi takes the easiest of easy marks and will take as much time as he can over this kick. Barassi taking all the time in the world. Have a look where he's going back. Kept going, gunning. Yeah, he's been a gone back about 40 yards on the mark just to take up a little bit more time. Walks in slowly, puts the leather on the... Left foot comes out here where Polinelli's got a chance. Polinelli goes in to pick it up, he grasped in the back, must take a free kick. Get up, Ron, you, it's against your boy. You hit him right in the middle of the back. No shadow of doubt. Now Barassi's going to pay for this, 15 yards. Towards the centre of the ground. 
Collis is there, ball knocked away from him, there's Barassi, he handballs it across to Barry Gill, but chipping in is Bonney, the ball is kicked away from him, now holds Bart here as Platel joins in, he turns, gets it back towards Barassi, Barassi hurries, gets his kick, got to the ground after he'd kicked the ball. Penalty free kick further up the field, and Barassi is very pleased about this. Two in a hurry, it's over towards Kennedy, Kennedy will have to knock to the head of him. He gets a while, Barassi, good play, determination. The goals, and it's a, nearly a mark to Barry Gill, taken away by Barassi. Touches it on the carpet once, now he's run, he's good 10 yards, he's had a bounce. He's uh, tackled, brought to the ground by Davis, the ball goes across the line and a half forward flank. And Barassi's sounding off on a teammate because he didn't come in for a hand pass doing things in style and they lead by 20 points they've led throughout the match it was a great third quarter by St Kilda and now they're kicking with Ditterich has gone up about five times in a row just can't get the mark Barassi Barassi quick hand pass gets rid of